Thomas Markle branded his daughter Meghan a liar and claimed she had changed since meeting Prince Harry in a new interview aired overnight. The 77-year-old insisted that the Duchess of Sussex had been lying for years and that it was Prince Harry's influence. Thomas, who has yet to meet grandchildren Archie and Lilibet, made the shocking accusations during an interview with GB News. Asked whether Meghan lied during the explosive interview with Oprah earlier this year, he said, she lied. She's been lying for years. Lying about the Archbishop? How can you say, we've been married three days before we got married? Her lies are so obvious, I don't know why she says them. According to Thomas, Meghan's alleged behavior was new, claiming she didn't have the capacity to lie before meeting her husband. He said, this is since Harry. Harry has influenced it. During the interview with Oprah, Meghan and Harry accused the royal family of being racist towards the Duchess of Sussex and Archie. They said that a key family member had questioned the color of Archie's skin before he was born. Meghan revealed she had battled with her mental health, adding that she had felt suicidal during her pregnancy but claimed she was barred from getting help by the family. Referencing the interview, Thomas said, Meghan and Harry are attacking the world. Attacking his 95-year-old grandmother is unforgivable. It's embarrassing they are doing this, it's embarrassing for them to be telling me a few years ago to, never talk to the presses, but then they spend hours on a show with Oprah. Thomas, who was meant to give his daughter away at her 32 million pounds, 60 million Australian dollars, wedding, claims he hasn't heard from the couple since he dropped out of the event due to illness. He said, I was laying in a hospital bed talking to them, telling them I couldn't come to the wedding and they haven't talked to me since. If your parent was in hospital, wouldn't you be concerned, even if you were mad at them? Wouldn't you be concerned if they'd live or die? He added, she's changed, she's not the daughter I knew. My daughter was a much more giving, loving person than she is now. I don't know if he's the one behind it, but I really think that Harry and some of her friends have changed her. I love my daughter, but I don't always like what they're doing. Meghan's dad isn't the only family member to be stepping into the spotlight. Her half-brother Thomas Markle Jr. entered the celebrity Big Brother house in Australia. The 55-year-old joins TV star Caitlyn Jenner and former Trump aide Omarosa in Sydney for the reality show. Ahead of entering the star-studded house, he told viewers, I'm Meghan Markle's brother. I'm the biggest brother of them all. I told Prince Harry, I think she's going to ruin your life. She's very shallow. Thomas previously said he was baffled about not being invited to Meghan's nuptials in 2018, Mail Online reports. He added, here is a person knowing the position she's in and knowing the scrutiny she's under and yet she has forgotten her flesh and blood. Meghan is reportedly bracing for fresh embarrassment and controversy as Thomas may reveal more revelations on the show, which airs later this year. The window fitter has previously hit out at Meghan in the press, dubbing her a phony, a bully, and a jaded, shallow, conceited woman.
Thomas Jr. also criticized Meghan for cutting off their dad after he admitted he was paid to pose for paparazzi pictures sold to news outlets worldwide. He claimed Meghan ignored her dad after he sent flowers for her 40th birthday. But the Duchess of Sussex was said to have been unhappy that she wasn't invited to Barack Obama's birthday, which falls on the same day. Sources say Meghan, desperately wanted, to be among those in attendance at the three-day do. Author Angela Levin said, I am told that despite claiming she was unable to attend, Meghan desperately wanted to be the special guest at the Obama's amazing party. Due to COVID restrictions, the guest list had to be shrunk down from 475. The expert added, but the fact is, Harry and Meghan were never even on the original list. Quote, 